Hey guys, Tim Manchuri with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you guys how to check if your iPhone is water damage or liquid damage and if it got into your phone. Now, it's really important because Apple's one year limited coverage that you get by default when you buy an iPhone from Apple, it is not going to be covering you if you get a phone that's liquid or water damage because that's accidental damage. You actually need to get Apple Care or some extra coverage to cover that. So Apple's one year limited warranty will not cover your water damage phone. So that's why we're going to be checking on how to check it. And this is going to be important, especially if you're buying a pre-owned device from someone because water damage or liquid damage iPhone will give you issues and to a point where most of the time it will not turn on. And one of the phone here we have is actually water damage and we'll show you how you can tell based on this indicator that Apple has built into it on the iPhones here. So starting with iPhone 7 and above, pretty much iPhone became water resistant, but that doesn't mean that the iPhone was not completely invincible to water because you can still get water in it and it starts to damage everything internally to a point where the phone will not turn on for you. And that's because if the phone is cracked or the seal somehow broke, it's probably most likely the reason why liquid gets in and your phone is damaged. The iPhone 13 here that we have, it's water resistant phone, but even then one of the phones got water damaged because somehow water was able to get into it. The red one here, as you can see, it's turned on, ready to go. This is not the water damage one. The blue one here is actually water damage and we'll show you how to check that. So on your iPhone here, what you want to do is simply bring your SIM ejector tool. Now, this is the tool that you take the SIM card out. If you don't have this, you can use a earring or bend a paper clip. It works equally as well. We want to be able to pretty much hold it and push it in so we can pop up the SIM card tray. We're going to pop that out. Now, we want to pop that out, and it's important to pop that out because this is where we can tell. Now, Apple has built in this this indicator known as liquid contact indicator right into here to show you who, that if a phone is water damaged based on the color the indicators are. And to check that, what you're going to need to do is put the phone under a light and hold it at a 45 degrees angle. And then you're going to use a light and then you're going to want to take a look at that bottom piece right here. We'll, we'll show you in a second. You'll see right underneath here, this camera won't be able to take it, but to a naked eye, you'll see it right under here. We'll show you in a second. Right under, right about here, there's an indicator that's generally just white or silver. But if a phone is liquid damage or water damage, that indicator will turn red. Now, that red, you'll notice if your phone is water damaged right away because it's at a 45 degrees angle under light, it will appear. So we're trying to get the best angle. But here in the camera, it's hard to get that because it is such an angle that our light here might not get it. And that's the case for any iPhone that you have. You'll be able to kind of go ahead and check that for you. And the same thing goes on, you can compare it to a phone that isn't water damaged. It will not show, it'll be either silver or white. Same thing, you know, pop at the SIM card tray, take a light either from a phone or another light and you'll see it right under there. There's a number you'll see on the iPhone 13, the model number of it and underneath right there's a little bit of slit that shows you if it's white or red and that's how you can tell. And the reason why this one's water damage is when you try to turn it on, it doesn't turn on any longer. And unfortunately, when you take it to Apple, they will not help us repair it because they saw that it is a water damage and their one year limited warranty does not cover that unfortunately. So that's one of the things because it's an accidental damage. Now, so you might be wondering, all right, how do I check it from my phone? So this is iPhone 13 that we checked it on, but essentially for any phone, iPhone 13, 12, 11, all of them are same thing. It's gonna be that indicator right as this shows right under the SIM card trade as well, you'll see it again. It's very tiny and small, so you're gonna have to really look at it and look, use the light as much as you can to kind of look at it. So that's gonna be applicable for iPhone 5 and above. If you have iPhone 4, it's gonna be right under the charging and the headphone or three point my hello meter jack, and then the older phones, you can find it here. Even for your iPod, you can also do the same thing here where there's an indicator here. And it's very important to check that because as you mentioned, it will turn from silver to white, uh, silver or white to red if liquid or water has gotten into it. And unfortunately, 
for the most part, when a phone is liquid or wire damaged, it's really hard to repair. Even when you try to go restore it, it's going to cost way too much or it's just not possible because everything inside essentially gets damaged, corroded, and you have to replace part after part, battery and everything could potentially be fried here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.